morning guys, YouTube, people, world, everywhere. Alright, got a lot, got a lot done. I hate working local. Anyway, um, just been beat, beat myself up at work. Um, I don't know, I was going to start. <clears throat> I did go... For a drive on the truck, but the squeaking is annoying. I just drove it down the street, turned around, drove back. Um, it does drive a lot smoother with shocks and whatever else. But anyway, that's beyond my uh, projects right now. Um, Kate ordered some new tires, some Ling Long. 305-70-16s, load range E, Ling Long Crosswinds, I think he's got about 40-something thousand miles on his tires, um, I think, uh, the only issue is that the ball joints keep breaking on his truck, and the control arms I ordered kept breaking, so it wore the tires on the outside out pretty bad because the alignment um so it's due and that's the only reason why he ordered them is because of the alignment i've adjusted the alignment i've welded the ball joints in so if i ever have to change the ball joints i just take a little die grinder tool and uh grind off all the welds and yeah take them out put new ones in so we got the 450, um, water pumps done, oil changes are done, engine oil, tranny oil done three times, uh, drained it, filled it, ran it, drained it, filled it, and then had to do the water pump, so <clears throat> drained it and filled it again. Um, head pipes on, as you can see, head pipes not. Oh my gosh, smashed anymore. I got a little bit of ripples. A um, couple little dings and dents here. Fixed it all with paintless dent repair. Just kidding. I uh, stuck it in the freezer with a bunch of water and duct tape and a lot of, a lot, a lot of. And uh, yeah, woke up in the morning and it was all popped out. So, pretty sweet. Uh, I got a 1.8 bar uh, radiator cap, which is about 30 PSI, I guess. So, once it gets a little warmer, I'm going to fire it up. I did buy new grips, but these are these grips are pretty much brand new. And they're Honda OEM. So, nice. So I'm going to run these grips. Uh, did the oil, air filter. Air, fil air filter is cleaned and has oil. Uh, yeah. I do have a, another oil or air filter. No toil. I'm not sure I ordered this one. I want to say I ordered something different, but I don't know. So it's a dual stage foam air filter. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I thought it was a resealable bag. It's not. So you can see there's a hole in the bag. <sighs> so got this. I got I got so many projects that I'm going to be doing here soon. Um, chain lube. I did remove the screen, the metal screen, the backfire screen, or whatever you call it, for it. Um, I did receive my fabric oil, fabric air filter oil, and my foam air filter oil from PJ from whatever it's called. Um, the oil filter change kit, some other junk. I got my bolts for the AC. Compressor, which is what I'm probably going to do this morning to get this off of here. Um, as you can see, I got three gallons, three 
1.3 gallons, so five quarts basically each, so 15 quarts of ATF plus four. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be doing a tranny service. Got the filter, washer, and there's an adapter in here for the for the spin-on filter. I'll do a video about that. That 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 stuff. I got I got too much going on. Plus work and work is just driving me nuts. All right, so I picked up some wheels. I said I was gonna do a video on some tires, installing tires, but I decided not to um, because it was freezing cold. So this tire wasn't that bad. This is a brand new uh, Kenda Parker DT. Um, I think DT, I can't remember what DT, D Desert or something, but you got direction here, so you got intermediate and you got hard, um, but yeah, it's a 110, 110, 90, 19, which is the same size as that tire, 110, 90, 19. But this tire doesn't have any air in it. And it's seen better days. So if you look at the look at the meat on there and the meat on there. Somebody cut these. I'm not sure if it was my brother in law. Um but a lot of guys though they'll, they'll basically cut off this lip, cut it with either a hacksaw or some type of metal thing. But you can see it's all um, it's all been chopped off, so these are, are just junk. This tire is just trash. Um, and then I got a front tire. I've had this front tire for a long time. It is a... Uh, what is it? A Michelin. A Michelin 90 90 21. So this was a pain in the butt to get on. Uh, the tube that I ordered or bought... They're heavy duty tubes and uh, yeah the tube was a pain in the butt to put in uh, the tire was a pain in the butt to put on the rim just overall was a pain in the butt um, but yeah it's a it's a newer tire it's not brand new but it's newer so I'm gonna throw these on the bike and those will be my dirt tires and then I'm gonna take that rear rim off of here and this is what I'm probably gonna do today so I'm gonna throw this out in the sun because I did those tires after work and the sun was down so I'm gonna throw this tire in the sun take this wheel off and uh, yeah I'm gonna swap this tire over and obviously you want to make sure the directions the right direction and also you need to this was my dune Dune stuff, so it's my Dune sprocket uh, set and my chain because it's longer and the, the sprocket's bigger. I believe the sprocket's larger than that sprocket. I could be wrong. I want to say this is a... I want to say it's a 52 tooth. But I'd probably be incorrect. 53 teeth. Is what it says right there somewhere. Just trust me. It's 53. So 53 teeth. And I think the sprocket that's on here is probably like a 48. Maybe. Because it doesn't look as big. Oh, it's a 50. 52 sprocket. <clears throat> so I could potentially just leave the sprocket on here. Um... But I'm going to have a complete wheel. So I have bolts coming for this for this wheel here. And uh, yeah. So it goes on like so. Bolts. I don't know when the bolts will be here. They might be here today. Might not be. Oh no. Anyway. And I'm doing a detox of energy drinks. Because i got a DOT physical coming up. That I gotta get done, and uh, yeah, so 
got a lot of a lot on my plate. We'll start with that. So, um, also yesterday I picked up a pallet of pellets. So it's 50 bags of pellets. However, this isn't 50 bags. Um, the other 40 bags are in the barn. And I picked up some siding material for that room, for the kids' room. So, yeah. Just keeps piling on top. I think I'm about 3 foot 6 now. Used to be 6 2. But anyway, just letting you guys know what's going on. Um, and what's, what's up. So, my next video is going to be doing this AC. Actually, you know what? You guys don't need to see the AC. I don't really care. AC. Um, next video you guys will probably see will probably be the tranny service on the uh, RAM. And uh, maybe not even that. So, alright guys. Hopefully you guys don't mind sticking in there, staying in. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got. See you guys on the next video, whatever it is. Peace out.